I'm gonna switch out real quick. I have to go on TO duty. Uh, so, Grand Final Side. Grand Final Side. Grand Final Side? It's good, dog. Good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Um, so, yeah, as Phoenix and I pointed out, it is the Grand Finals what expected. It's over against Trefezio. So I don't know if you caught it on stream on the way here, but last time was a severe washing. Uh, yeah, Felix told me, but he told me two games were pretty close. Oh yeah, the first and the last one, but the... That was a good edge guard. I'm kinda surprised that he caught that. Uh, what do we trying to say? No, I was just saying the second one was, yet again, kinda like Lori said, a pretty hard wash, but the first and third one were a very competitive. Oh, okay, okay. But Trifasia, just being the better player, managed to clutch it out. Ooh, Ooh, up tilt. Up tilt. Interesting. Um, the interesting thing about up tilt, it actually has a quite big disjointed hitbox. And the head's invincible as well. It's invincible? Okay, good. Yeah. Which said. So you can like trade with Falco down air, oh, okay. like cleanly. Oh, that's, that's cool. Ooh, with the over, with the over. Ooh! But if you keep playing against the over all the time, then yeah. you're always going to be able to cover it. That's true. And also, over sometimes opts to fake it out to. Do it and then just doesn't do it. But this oh. time he tried, but he failed. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a hard position to do, anyways. Might have not even been possible there. So, what's interesting to mention is that they started out on Dreamland. Yeah. I would feel like, especially in PAL with limited kill options, that you would rather like to start on a smaller stage like Battlefield, for example. Um, I remember over always opts for Dreamland, also against Armada. Interesting. Oh, really? Enough, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I remember from the last couple of years. He's generally got a relative weird philosophy on stage striking, I would say. Yeah, he also like, wants to go FD, FD against Isis and Spaces. And Spaces, especially. Like, especially against Falco. He just goes for it, and Dory, for example, hates that stage. He never would go FD. Yeah. But also, then, Overdrive is so good at tech chasing. Yeah. So he really and he's also got good conversions and just smart punishes. That's true. So now we see corner pressure from over trying to gain an advantage and we see he converts off the stage position. Very nice. Yeah, he abused the only fact about Peach when she's turned around and he's got a, she got a low shield. She can't do much really. Probably she could have gone for the spot touch but it's a down smash so yeah, it's gonna hit anyways. So smart also move choice by yeah. over Triforce, definitely. Ooh, two quick slaps. Nice backer trade. Good the eye over. Uh, did use the second jump, interesting enough. Because the uh, second jump of Zelda is much worse as of Sheik. So Mewtwo oh, yeah. opts to just use the float from Zelda, then turns back and then uses the second jump. So now over chasing pixel perfect spacing by Triff on that float. To land. I think that's so, so important to just be able to perfectly space outside the double hop, hop aerial range of the character in order to be able to safely land. Yeah, that's something we always see from Ada, like, we find this micro spacing, it's, it's incredible. Partial grab, very nice. Over quick slap back. And nice conversion. Finally gets his dog at 170, 70%. 777, so. So we're op over opting for a lot of needles and very safe approaches, knowing that the Peach Crouch Cancel game at low percents is very good against Cheek especially. Yeah. Uh, she really doesn't have much options when Peach is at low percent. Because Except for the grab, which got nerfed in Pal. So. And also, the thing is, if she floats, you can't even grab her. Oh and yeah. She got kind of an, I call it an aerial Crouch Cancel. Because yeah, because she's so fat, yeah. If you hit her, she doesn't really um, fly away, so you can just lay her or something, and you cannot trade with Peach, especially not last stock and when you're that high percent. Ooh, the Zelda coming out. Oh, quickly stows her away. Nice trade again, Peach, the trade queen. <laughs> the trade queen, yeah. Ooh, oh, I thought, okay. I thought he was sleeping on the wheel for a second, yeah, but... But the landing leg was way too much. So then, Treff up 1-0 in the series again, just like last time. Looking really Korean. Probably the third best player right now in Europe, I would say. He got a couple of wins of the ice now. And I can't remember who he lost to. 
Like, except for oh, yeah. left in the Mara, the last couple of months. Th yeah, I don't think there should be anyone. I mean, except for... Didn't he lose, like, one set to Ice because he reset at Awakening? Uh, could be the case. To be honest, I didn't watch the set. I just heard that Triff won. Yeah. But, ooh, nice C-drop turn -in. Uh, also what I remember from Ice, Ice told me back then when he was still playing Sheik that he thinks this stage is the only one Sheik can win in Pal. Yeah, I do agree. Because, I mean, or at least I would think so as well, because that's the only stage where really you get early kills, which is what Sheik usually struggles the most with. Ooh, quick, oh who Uses Randall again for quick movement. What I... Wow, what an air dodge. Very tricky recovery. Ah, uh, I didn't get it this time. But also, the triple's ready. Like, if the turn up hits, he would have already been there with a backer. Nice slap. A bit lazy drift from Trifasia, I feel. He's always been so ambiguous with it the entire tournament that... That just shows... Yeah, it's just general um, almost playstyle revolves a lot about fairs. He also finds a really good... Um, space to hit it, and just cover where you want to go, basically. Quick dash dance. Good space. Also remarkable, uh, the eye by Trifasia, because the down throw of Sheik can... Like, there are two basic ways. Like, either you get hit by the dash attack, or you um, hit the ground. But he managed to get something in between, which is really hard. Goes for the Peach Bomber. Weak backer, not that good. Ooh, and he has Ds. Trifisha wouldn't even gotten into to Rambo, so... Ooh! Oh my god! Okay, that was, that was sweet. That was sweet. That was... Trifisha gives it a smirk, he appreciates that. That was really ballsy, it was like a sw Smash 4 kill, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something janky for sure. But great drift out there. So right now, not looking too good. Trifasia in the lead. Peach definitely can grind out the lead. And especially with Trifasia's punish game. Oh my god. And it's so hard because the thing is like people like Armada and uh, Triff who always play against Sheik just know how, how they can trade and basically all he has to do is trade now. He doesn't even like get a clean hit or anything. But he already seems to be at a relatively high percent to crouch cancel so maybe Triff can Get some good use out of the percent he's made. That's true. But Shrift with some good rinse repeat edge guarding. Ooh, sweet tech. Very nice recovery. Uh, one oh, I good shield. But needle cancel there. Would have been probably safer. Ooh, on the offensive, but back air gets beat out by the downer, and Triff goes up 2 0 in the series. I hope Triff doesn't get too overconfident because, like, two times he was, like, floating real low after the Sheik died on the top. Oh, yeah. So, ho and hopefully, he, he, he won't pull a Kiwi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a heartbreaking way to get eliminated. <laughs> so, Battlefield, interesting enough. Not sure why. Maybe he wants a bit more space to move around. So usually for like movement heavy Sheiks, especially Battlefield has by far the best platform arrangement because you are allowed to keep your space because Yoshi's is somewhat too tight. So if you're more of a swingy Sheik, then you definitely prefer Yoshi. But Battlefield sure allows you to uh, easily circumvent Peach's big aerials and hitboxes. I mean, what I noticed at the end is that Triff went for a lot of pressure and played really aggressively and Triff couldn't get away, uh, Overtravis couldn't get away from it. So, might, might be the reason why he opted on battle, to go Battlefield. Uh, there goes the patient game. Like, this dog is already really important because it decides who can trade um, the next dogs. Nice ledge dash, that was very cleanly done. Ooh, a bomb. Bomb? Yeah. Oh, it just throws away. Oh, what the hell? The turnip! Oh my god! Just what are the odds? Just get to Mr. Saturn, like, the next time. But Jab, one of the few kill setups that's still okay to do in PAL. I mean, it's like bomb, it's like 1 in 1000, I think, and this set is 1 in 3000, approximately. So yeah, it was basically a 1 in 3 million chance or something. <laughs> yeah, if you multiply it, that's crazy. <laughs> and you know, these guys are such good friends, they, they can just have fun even when it's about, uh, when it's for something, so. 
really just enjoying and loving the game. Uh, and that's always good to see. I also found it because they have two completely different personalities in my opinion. Oh, you think so? Yeah, just like Trippy Swimmer outgoing, also likes to party and stuff. And Ori is like more the quiet one. Uh, this, this is crucial now because Ova needs to get that stock now. Otherwise, it's gonna be quite hard. The more percentage Drift racks up now, you can just use. Uh, good needles. Get rid of the good needle oh. charge. Nice sweet spot. Very nice. Weak Nair. Tries to go low, to go under Sheik. Uh, that miss input by Trefasia here, doing the side B. And it should be a stock. Oh! Drift action uh, messed up, getting it down instead of the Nair. Very nice! Perfectly spaces above the needle charge, then is able to grab ledge and secure the kill. So he for sure knows his spacing. Yeah. Also, it's kind of hard because when um, she re jumps, she kind of gets some awkward angles, which are really hard to avoid. I'm actually not sure if how Sheik's uh, item throw is, to be honest. I've heard it's relatively okay. Nothing out of the margin, or not as bad as Marth's. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say, because Marth's is horrible. I, I don't know why. He, he just throws, like, like he could take a fox and just, like, <laughs> hulk him up in the air, but then he just has such a girly throw when he's just like, ugh. Now, not only that, because he... I think it needs much longer than any other character. Like, yeah. he swings it and really, really slowly throws it. Coverage. Have you? Do you know how that thing works with the Sheik, where you can shorten the up B? Uh, yeah, you have to kind of hit the stage. It's a bit dumb. Oh, okay. Lane. It's like you almost have to rush into it, but it not grab the ledge. So I see what you mean. So that might have been a better option here, because we see that if he goes for the full height, then Trifasia has an easy time to just come in and back air and back out. Yeah, but you, you can hit it from every. Um, position. There are some angles where it's way too hard to hit. Especially on Battlefield. Yeah, it's an, it's another factor with these rich in and against where the grab position and the actual stage is. I remember um, Yoshi's it's quite easier because of the um, slant. You have to slant. But Battlefield much harder to do definitely. So, let's Ooh, see. Gets Gets combo breakered out of his own throw. That's that must kind of hurt. And again, go with the eye on the on the down throw. Probably just has like a little notch already from always putting it in the stick. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, uh, very nice conversion. Might have game here, and that's and it. that's it. Uh, well played by Trefasia. Over try four still. Trefasia. Grand champion of the...